Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our racing thermostat into the 2013 Subaru BRZ and Scion FRS. Tools needed to install the Mishimoto racing thermostat into the 2013 Subaru BRZ and Scion FRS are quarter inch drive ratchet, extension, 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, a pair of pliers, and pop clip tools, coolant, and coolant funnel. Installation is about an hour and is a two out of five on the scale of difficulty. Right, guys, first thing we want to do is we want to lift the car and place it securely on jack stands. And to help you guys see a little bit better, we're using a lift. Once you do that, pop the hood. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the negative terminal and the battery for safety. Don't pay attention to these wires. We've got sensors hooked up. Next, remove the three 10 millimeter bolts and nine pop clips to remove the front splash shield. Next, we're going to remove the metal skid pan from under the engine. To remove this, you're going to remove four 10 millimeter bolts, eight 12 millimeter bolts, and seven pop clips. Next, remove the 10 millimeter bolt and two pop clips from each side of the fender well splash pans that connect the pans to the bumper. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to drain the coolant. Now, to do this, once you remove this yellow drain plug, coolant's going to come out of this little spout and spill onto the frame right here. What we suggest is using a little piece of 3 8 ID hose. You can fit that right over the end of the spout, and this way you can drain your coolant without making a mess. To make the draining process go a little bit faster, remove the radiator cap. Next, remove the lower hose from the thermostat housing. Have a coolant bucket ready because some coolant is going to be left in this hose. Next, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the thermostat housing to the bottom of the engine block. Before we install the Mishimoto Racing Thermostat, we're going to take a paper towel and just wipe clean the housing. Make sure that there's nothing built up around the flange that would cause an issue with sealing. Once we're done with that, we're good to reinstall the Mishimoto Racing Thermostat. When you install it, make sure that the little jiggle pin is facing back toward the back of the car. Next, install the thermostat housing. Once you have the bolts snugged up on the thermostat housing, tighten the bolts to five foot pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, just turn them about a quarter turn after they snug up. Next, we're gonna reinstall the metal skid pan. First, install the seven pop clips that hold the pan in place. Next, install the four 10 millimeter bolts that go in the back of the pan. Next, install the eight 12 millimeter bolts. Next, reinstall the front splash shield. Install the three 10 millimeter bolts and four pop clips. Okay, realign the side fender pans. Okay, now it's time to refill the cooling system. Remember to use a 50-50 mix of coolant and distilled water. Now, being that we're working with a Subaru BRZ, we're using Subaru-specific coolant. If you have a Scion FRS, get Scion coolant. Okay, once you have the coolant filled up, reconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Once you have the cooling system filled, go ahead and turn the car on and turn the heat on high. That'll help get all the rest of the air bubbles out of the cooling system. Okay, that concludes the install. Take a car out for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.